Hey what's up everyone this is Wicked and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest Astro ROM version 2.5 made uh, and developed by um, Manu Pro N5 and uh, Albi95 the greatest developer and uh, as you may see here Albi95 Astra N5 ROM 2.5 it is running Aurora ROM kernel and uh, it is based on Android 5.1.1 um, I will uh, in this video I will cover up the following parts the features of this beautiful ROM the speed and the smoothness of course I'm gonna be doing a performance test under the benchmark and um, I'll play I'll talk about the pros and the cons and of course I'll play the game just to show you that it's smooth and everything is working perfectly I've been using this phone for more than 4 hours now and uh, my first impressions are that uh, after you firstly install this ROM you may observe some lag, some lagging uh, you know, parts from time to time my advice is that you'll, you'll have to, you should set up your device like it is um, download your favorite apps and so on while it's lagging but afterwards it will actually you know um, settle down everything will be working perfectly as you may see it is pretty fluid and fast no problems or whatsoever um, uh, regarding the lag you won't get rid of this one the you know sliding up lag regarding the um, recent sub panel you can't get rid of that um, but otherwise this is a really fast ROM taking in mind that this is a port and uh, force closes may occur um, in ported apps but uh, otherwise as I told you it is a very beautiful ROM and uh, I will get into into all of its features right now um, you may have noticed that my wallpaper changed. It is a uh, tapet wallpaper and a really beautiful application that uh, changes um, your wallpaper from time to time. It looks perfectly on this on this uh, this ROM. Okay, um, let's get uh, into the features part. Um, this ROM, as you may see from the beginning, it is rocking a brand new theme. As you may see, it's having a great launcher, it uh, has uh, Note 5 um, features, it has S6 Edge features as you may see the Edge screen but I'll get into this later uh, right now I want you to see everything uh, how it looks like, how the device looks like and how it feels like especially of course it comes with this beautiful modded camera actually I think it's the Galaxy S6 camera this is how it looks like. Um, some uh, screen, actually, camera modes are not working perfectly because, the, of course, the hardware is not uh, compatible with. But otherwise, of course, you will have uh, this beautiful, sorry, this beautiful marshmallow theme, white theme. You can disable the S Finder from here and other features that we're going to be getting through um, so since it is a Galaxy Note 5 port as I told you earlier it benefits the first time of uh, actually not the first time in the first time it benefits of the edge screen which will allow you to add uh, a maximum number of five shortcuts so for example if you want to open up uh, let's say my files, all you have to do is to swipe from there and open up uh, my files another feature is that you can call uh, whatever you want from here for example it's a kind of a great shortcut if you want to quick call someone so that is uh, edge screen all about really great feature, you can disable it in settings but that's why you got this ROM to have as uh, Note 5 features, sorry, and uh, here they are. Another great feature that comes with this ROM is the Air Command feature. So if you open up Air Command, for the first time you may see that it's kind of not responding 
because you'll have to grant root access and it takes a while until it grants uh, until it pops out the you know, the notification that will tell you to grant root access and that's what you get in the error command section action memo smart select which isn't working for some reason I can't select anything but it's not such a big deal um, you have screen write so it takes a screenshot and then you are able to write something for example here I will write uh, Astra 2.5 yep and you can uh, erase sorry you can erase things you can uh, you know crop this specific area and then you know click done and you can this you can discard um, or save what you what you did what you write what you wrote um, Another cool feature fe uh, feature is the action memo, which will allow you to, you know, write. Sorry, <laughs> it's really hard to manipulate behind the camera, um, and it's hard to you know focus properly. You can write, uh, you know, everything quickly. It's on eraser. Sorry, so you can write wicked. It's really hard. You can write, uh, you know, whatever you want. You can make a signature. You can uh, check something. It's a really cool thing because it comes integrated with this ROM, uh, and you don't need S Pen in order to do this. It's it's kind of difficult to write without a Pen S Pen because it's not so accurate, accurate with the uh, the thumb. You know what I'm talking about. And yeah, you can also add a shortcut. As you may see in this uh, section air command for example I set up the smart manager to open up when um, you know when pressing out the this shortcut okay another feature that comes with this ROM is uh, the well-known feature called ultra poor saving mode which is working perfectly I won't turn it on because it will be a waste of time. Um, another thing that doesn't work, cons, is that screen mirror uh, is the screen mirroring. It doesn't work. Uh, multi window works perfectly. Floating messages couldn't get it to work because it force closes the settings force close. Um, and I will show you immediately. At least they were. It was force closing. Um, floating messages. As you may see it says, unfortunately, settings has stopped. And uh, yeah, that's what I told you. It's a port and uh, bugs may occur. It's not such a big bug, but it is. Um, these are the widgets I got on my home screen. Um, so the features are, uh, feature section is almost done. As you may see the benefits of uh, all S6 and Note 5 apps, they look perfect, um, without a miss. Uh, let's talk about the theming part right now because this is an also this is also an important part of this ROM. Um, you can uh, theme your app. You can theme the entire user interface actually. So I downloaded this uh, theme called Android 6.0 Marshmallow flat theme, and I will apply it. And let's see how it looks like. Ex big expectations or not. It changed out the wallpaper to a more shiny one. What's a droplets in the background? This is how the notification bar looks like right now. To me, it looks better. Let's see the the, the settings application again it will give you a more darker style let's check out the phone application this is how it looks like messaging application so regarding the customizability part um, this is a go because it benefits of themes and themes on the S6 and Note 5 customize the entire user interface um, 
the thing is that I haven't actually tried exposed installer. I'm really curious if it's working. Please make sure you feedback right down below in the comments if it's working, whether it's working or not. Um, there are some uh, zips that you may want to flash in order to see if it's working, but uh, I'll be said that uh, it may, you know, bug the entire the entire ROM, so it's not recommended to flash uh, exposed on uh, a port ROM because ports have bugs and exposed, which is not um, official for the um, S4 right now regarding Lollipop. It will be even uh, buggier. So yep. Um, so yeah, we talked about the team spot. Let me switch back to the you know the default team because I think this looks uh, better. Um, so the performance spot, as you saw, we don't care about the numbers. We care about uh, how fast it. Uh, let me change up the wallpaper. How fast uh, and this time. I will show you how it looks like, how the tablet wallpaper looks like. So it doesn't really matter how the numbers. It matters. The only thing that matters is uh, how the how the phone performs, how it moves, how fast it is, how smooth it is, and uh, that should be the only thing that uh, should concern you. But either way, I did a benchmark test, which I will open right now. The Antutu benchmark. And as you may see, I scored for about 32,000, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 33,652 and points, which is a really fast score. Think in mind that this is a port and uh, it kind of uses more resources than uh, it should, than the official, you know, Galaxy S4 Lollipop firmware uses. Um, so, again, internet. Uh, Internet um, browser works really well without a miss, no lag at all, really fast. Um, the one thing that you, you should take into consideration is that while opening what's uh, not WhatsApp or YouTube, and you know, for example, you will have to play a video of, let's say, I don't know, a video Tech Rex. Sorry, and uh, if you set up the quality to 1080p, it may lag. Not right now, but if it is, it will say here 1080p 60 frames per second. If you get that, then the the video will freeze. Otherwise, it's working perfectly. So it will freeze because the Galaxy S4, as it comes from the factory, can't record videos in a 1080p 60 frames per second uh, I reckon it only does at the 30 frames per second and that means you can't uh, uh, actually even play back 1080p at 60 frames per second videos because uh, the hardware won't let you the CPU the ROM and the other components hardware components so I think uh, that should sum it up I told you that I will actually open up this uh, little game. Uh, I haven't tried a bigger game because um, I found out that the bigger the game is, the hard it will uh, actually it will download. <sighs> it's really hard to you know play behind the camera. It will slow out the download, and it will take forever to download. Well, yeah, kind of fucked up. So, games are working perfectly. I will show you also the random access memory. As you may see, it says 73%, 75% used. A uh, pretty fair amount of RAM, but you wouldn't notice. You won't notice that uh, this... Uh, is lagging because of that it is actually pretty cool midnight right now <laughs> pretty cool rom with uh, no lags at all uh, again you'll have some lags here you know as you as you saw big lag while getting into 
recent set panel, but otherwise it's a great ROM. Thumbs up for Albi95 and Manu Pro N5 for making this beautiful ROM. Um, and uh, as always, if you like my video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Make sure to leave your comments right down below, your feedback. Feedback? Feed, feed black, yeah. Racist as fuck. Feedback. <laughs> and uh, make sure you hit me up on Instagram. That's where I'm all, all the time and I will answer out uh, your questions on DM. Um, so thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye-bye.